Drones have become very cheap and popular and represent opportunities for students to explore a wide range of problem solutions with the new technology. From pizza delivery to surveillance, personal cinematography to the global war on terror. Essentially drones, or UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, were initially remote controlled planes or helicopters. But increasingly they have been automated so that they can avoid obstacles, follow paths, or find their own way to locations without the need for a human op operator or controller. And while many micro drones are still just remote controlled devices and have not much interest in digital technologies, there are small drones such as the Spider, which can be programmed using a drag and drop interface. So just as we do for mobile robots, we can program these flying robots to perform various tasks and to solve various problems. Now the spider drones are around about $100 to $150, but there are more complex drones available as well. But for simple solutions to problems, we can use drones for film recording, creating great cinema, cinematographic shots and panoramas. They can be used for surveillance, um, playground duty, search and rescue, looking for lost people or pets or other objects, um, inspections, collecting all those balls and frisbees from the, from the roofs, uh, deliveries, uh, as we see with the pizza and Amazon's exploration of the use of these technologies to deliver packaging and education to help understand flight and have geographic views of the neighbourhood but also to explore issues around privacy and other digital technologies related issues. But our primary interest is, is in the data that drones can collect, how they can be automated with regards to flight plans and obstacles, how they can avoid objects and how we can use larger drones such as the such as this one, which is a Phantom, and it can be programmed with flight plans and obstacle avoidance, and it has systems whereby it will automatically return to where it was launched from if it loses signal, um, and it has altimeters and compasses and GPS, all to enable it to make autonomous decisions. But more specifically in digital technologies, they can be used to teach sequences and iterations in flight planning, Selection and how the drone reacts to a loss of signal, stopping or returning from to where it started, and the artificial intelligence subroutines that allow it to avoid detection, or sorry, to avoid obstacles, um, and for path following. So we can set paths and it can try to do its best to stay on those paths, even if it has to avoid things along the way that were unexpected. But it's also a nicely self-contained digital system that we can explore, particularly with relating to its communication processes. But the use of drones, even the smallest, is subject to rules set down by the Civil Aviation Authority. And while these rules are commonly broken by the tens of thousands of drone owners, teachers do need to be more cautious in their use. Now essentially, if you fly them indoors, you're fine. Other than the standard risk management for devices hurtling about with spinning plastic blades, um, they are classed for educational use as model planes. Taking them outside, however, brings a whole new set of rules. The most important being that a drone cannot be flown within 30 metres of other people, which generally limits their use to large sporting fields when not in use by others, um, and controlling a class where students are 30 metres apart um, does present challenges. Now there is provision for use that can be used within 10 metres horizontally and 10 metres vertically and some careful arrangement on an oval might allow more use in that respect but nevertheless large groups of students and drones being used outside would be very difficult to comply with CASA regulations. Um, so I have talked to CASA about this but they are quite firm that these are the standard regulations for all devices at the moment. But programming 
Programmable drones are a great tool for teaching of digital technologies. You will avoid many potential problems if you keep them indoors, and for small drones, that is fine. They can be programmed to navigate between rooms or race around obstacle courses in an auditorium, and they can demonstrate student solutions to a wide range of uses for this technology. The use of larger drones should be more carefully considered, particularly for city and urban schools, and linking with a UAV recreational group or a commercial drone provider may assist in identifying appropriate ways in which they can be used in these environments.